so much. One of my favorite parts of the show is when we recognize a leading lady, someone who is killing it with what they do. When I heard about my next guest, I just knew I had to meet her. Please welcome Gwen Jameer. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you, Harry? I'm good. I'm going to jump right into this because there's so much that I, that I want to know. Okay. Uh, tell us why you're here, what this incredible product is that, we're, we're, that you started the company for. Well, I, I'm here because I'm the first African-American woman to own a patent on a natural hair care product. Wow. It's, thank you. Thank you so much. I would imagine you made history with that. I did. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but it's literally my baby. It's called Naturalicious, and I absolutely love what I do. That's incredible. How, was it hard going through the patent filing application process? Oh, absolutely. Process? I did it all on my own, so it was did completely you really? hard. Now, how did you come up with the idea? Well, I was pregnant with my son at the time. His okay. name's Caden, and he's five years old now. But I was pregnant with him, and I had just seen a movie called Good Hair mm -hmm. by Chris, sure, Rock. Chris Rock. And in the movie, he takes a can of soda and submerges it into a vat of hair relaxer, which is used to straighten your hair. It's mm -hmm. a chemical. And this can disintegrated in seconds. Because and of the chemical. Because of the chemical. And I'm pregnant, I'm emotional, and I'm sure. freaking out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my kid's gonna disintegrate also, you know? Oh my God. So I'm like, I can't keep putting this on my hair. I've been right. doing this since I was in the third grade. Right. Um, I went to the store looking for products that were healthy and natural and worked, okay. and I couldn't find anything. So I went into my kitchen, and about five months later, I submerged, or emerged <laughs> out of that with a formula for a But a when product. you say, like, you're talking about like, like an avocado or something would be good for your hair? Like what kind yeah. of stuff would you mix together that you would think would be good for your hair? Well, I was looking for uh, obviously products that are natural and organic. Sure. So I knew, you know, my mom is that type of woman who can just do everything. So I would call her up and I asked her, mom, what does argan oil do versus olive oil? That sort of thing. Oh, so I had wow. a little bit of mom help there. Wow. But uh, other than that, it was completely trial and error. I'm not a cosmetic chemist. Because my dad went to a dance in sixth grade, and he put olive oil in his hair, and he said the whole night in New Orleans there were flies buzzing around Oh, no. <laughs> so you'd have to be, be careful doing well, that. Well, no, I promise you that my products will not cause flies. Yeah. So <laughs> how, much, I mean, how much money did you have when you started this, this whole thing? So I started the company literally with $32 in the bank. I was... Um, $32? $32. I was, and I might get a little emotional here, I was um, getting divorced, and... I got laid off from my job just 30 days before my divorce was final. Oh my God. And I had a two year old at the time. And I didn't know what I was going to do because I had $32 in the bank sure. and the kids to feed. And um, I didn't want him to see mommy fail. It was mm -hmm. very important to me that he saw us succeed. Mm -hmm. It was just me and him. I'm thrust into this single mother thing. And I didn't expect it. And um, I started the company the day I got laid off from my job, which was March 4th of 2013. I always call it my emancipation day. Wow. You know what's interesting about that? I think most people, just going through pregnancy alone, I think would be a full plate for anyone. But the yeah. fact that you lost your job and you were going through a divorce yeah. and you already had a two-year-old, the yeah. fact that you had that much on your plate. And what's interesting is that March 4th, if you really think about it, means go forward. You're March right. March 4th. You're right. Boom! So you kind of did that. You're right. You're right. Thank I, I you think, for that. Yeah, I think that's amazing. So how, how is the company doing right now? It's well, called Naturalicious, It's right? called Naturalicious. I love that. <laughs> that was you. my nickname in high school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Still is. Yeah. You never know. Um, and it's doing fantastic. We're sold in Whole Foods stores. Are you? Yeah, we're sold in Whole Foods stores. And actually, that was my very first um, big thing that I did. When I got laid off, I didn't have any money, and I knew I needed to make a big splash immediately. Sure. And so there was a Whole Foods store that was opening near me, and I said, you know what? The worst they can say is no. So Let you me went to the try. Whole Foods and said... I went up there, and I, I marched love, up there. I love that so much. With my $32 in the bank. Oh, my God. This makes my heart swell like that. Yeah. I love that. That's how... Yeah. That's greatness, I think, yeah. is what that is. Tell, tell us you. about some of the people that you work with. Oh, my goodness. So we partner with a company, or I'm sorry, an organization called STEP, which okay. is Services to Enhance Potential. Okay. And that is an organization that partners employers with mentally and physically challenged individuals. Okay. And so they are my crew. They're in the production uh, studio that we have. They wow. bottle, label, fill all the bottles. Everything that comes from us to you, by the time you get in your hands, they've had their hands all over it. What planet are you from? 
I mean, this is so, you make me feel good, you know? Thank you. So, what would you tell everyone, but specifically women who are sitting at home watching, saying, what, what do I do now? I have this idea that's sort of born out of necessity that I yeah. think can help other people. What, what advice would you give to them? What I would tell them is what I always have to tell myself at times. And I did not come up with this, so I can't take credit for it. But waiting is not a wealth strategy. Mm. I heard that and it just stuck with me. And I feel like we're always waiting for the right time, the right moment. We're gonna wait till our kids graduate or we're gonna wait till we get another job or what have you. What if I had waited till I got another job? Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be having this conversation, no, we wouldn't. you know? Well, we probably would have because you would have crushed that job. Yeah, yeah. And they would, you, you would have been here for that. You know, yeah. I, I feel really lucky to, to have you. Um, and we have a couple of things for you. We can't let you leave empty handed. Oh. Tell us about I think your son is a big part of this process. He is. As, what, is he, what do you call him? So his name is Caden, okay. and he's the chief candy curator. The candy curator. Yeah, and I'll tell you what he does. So every single online order that anyone places, they get a piece of candy in their <laughs> order. And it was totally his idea. I love and that. And he hand selects the candy throughout the seasons. He'll tell me, like, Mommy, nobody likes black licorice, you know. I and actually so do. I like it. <laughs> but, so I, but I also, I like turtle eggs. He's pretty... So. <laughs> He's pretty partial to chocolate, and so he actually hand selects the, the candy every season, and he hand puts it into each order. So he's very, very popular with the customers, as you can imagine, even more so than I am. Like, That's amazing. They always ask, where's the candy curator? So. Yeah, yeah. So we have something for him. Can we oh. bring that out? This is going to keep him busy for a little while. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Yeah. So that'll, that'll oh, keep him busy. Is, he will love this. Yeah. And, and he will we, love this. we also, you, you work your behind off, and you have... I'm blown away by you. So we're going to send you to the spa for a day of relaxation. Oh, my God! We want to thank you so much for thank coming. You. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. You're incredible. Thank you. Thanks so much.